Welcome back. Today we review Wimbledon from 2004. It is for this week's Harry Movie Club. So Wimbledon is, as you guess from the name, a sports movie. It's listed as a romance comedy sport, but I'd really say it's a total romance movie wrapped in a sports setting with some comedic bits. The parts of this movie that were sport, where it would show the actual tennis matches, I think that was very well done. The romance part was really like an emotional roller coaster. The whole relationship between Bradbury and Colt Bradbury, played by Kirsten Dunst, who I think did a fantastic job. And then we have Colt, played by Paul Bettany. He is Silas from Da Vinci Code. He's also uh, Jarvis in the Iron Man movies, The Computer. That's uh, Paul Bettany's voice. Another thing with the fact that it is a sports movie, I did like that the superstition actually did kind of mess them up. The one thing that Colt did to mess up Bradbury's uh, kind of routine did end up seemingly costing her. The movie overall is a good watch if you're not alone. I'd say it's probably a good date movie because there are the up and downs. There are some comedic parts. John Favreau plays Ron Roth. He is the agent seemingly pretty much for every tennis player. Favreau does portray an agent very well. He should, has two flags at once and he doesn't care who wins because he just wants to make sure that he gets the sponsorship for whoever does win. And at the beginning, he actually hadn't called Colt back because Colt used to be uh, top tier and then he let himself drop to like 115 or 111, something like that. Everyone thought he was over. Even his brother Carl Colt, played by James McAvoy, that was a pretty neat cameo, uh, seems to usually not bet on Colt. The family relationship, the husband and wife, Edward and Eleanor Colt, is really comedic too. Uh, Bernard Hill is Edward Colt and Eleanor Braun is Augusta Colt and it's kind of a heartwarming. The whole movie is more romance and they end up kind of fixing their issues. They're brought together for a common purpose and it's nice. And I totally forgot, Sam Neill plays Dennis Bradbury, who is Lizzie's father and uh, his part's actually one of the comedic ones as well. Uh, but Sam Neill is in this, you'll notice him from Jurassic Park. The movie is a delete. The performances though are good and if you have someone that's going to be with you that kind of likes these type of movies. i say it's a good pick. You'll probably have some cuddles, some tears, uh, but overall the movie is a one-watch date movie. So thanks for watching this. Like I said it at the beginning, it was for Harry Movie Club. Click the annotation and it'll take you to all the playlists uh, that he creates for the responses. If you want to reach me, comment down below. I do want suggestions for future films to watch or in the Today We Play Future Games. You can reach me on Twitter as well, at MadLFan, and please use hashtag TodayWeReview. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.